Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Ulua Tosin, and this is Work the Talk with Tosin. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, my name is Ulua Tosin. Please do well to click the subscribe button down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, ah, you know how I feel about you. You know that I love you so much. Thank you very, very much. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the preachers that I listened to, like that really took my relationship with God, my spiritual growth to another level. I'm not saying that you must listen to them. Let me put this disclaimer out there. I'm not saying that, oh, you must listen to these people if you don't listen to these people this will not happen and all that and all that everyone has a unique process everybody has different levels we are all working with god on different levels right so there are certain things that god may confine me to there are certain people that god would ask me to listen to and he may tell you to listen to another person depending on this stage in your life he might give you certain people oh you just notice that you're drawn to this kind of message at that particular period of your life and while you're watching this video if there is a preacher or anybody it must even be a preacher right that you listen to that really helps to shape your spiritual growth and all that please let me know in the comment section so i can also check them out just for checking them out so without further ado let's get into the video okay so let me just jump right into it in no order of priority i'm just going to be talking about them as it hurts as it just coming to my head so number one on the list is pastor mildred kingsley okonkwo you guys i love this woman so much and i feel like i mentioned her first because I mean that season where I'm listening to her messages back to back as it's dropping on YouTube. I am downloading and I'm just feeding myself with it. I started listening to Pastor Mildred, I think last year, last year, December. I had known her husband, Pastor Kingsley Okonkwo, but I, I did not necessarily used to listen to her. So in fact, I did not used to listen to anything, relationship, marriage, and all that stuff. But around december last year i just noticed that i was drawn to her messages like and by the way it's not just relationships that she talks about yeah but then the relationship the whole marriage aspect and all that was something that i feel the lord wanted to teach me like it took me if you if you scroll down to my past videos in i'm going to put the link up here where i talked about my valentine's day surprise um, in that video, I explained how God had really changed my mind and I realized a lot of things about myself. I realized that I had a problem with loving people, with trusting people. I was scared of the idea of marriage, relationship and all that stuff. Like you guys, I was really, really scared of things like that. So God used this woman's messages to really transform my life in that aspect. Like God used her messages to teach me that love is possible that marriage is not something marriage is not slavery that marriage is not something that will just take away everything that has to do with you you guys i used to see marriage as something that you know once you just marry you are no more like <laughs> you're living your life to please somebody you're living your life to please your children you cannot fulfill god's purpose you're just living life right so that is actually how i used to see that is actually how I used to see all this marriage and all those things. But then God used her messages to really change my mindset to see that God created marriage. And if God created marriage, like God definitely knows that marriage can work. God had good plans when he created something called marriage. And it's such a beautiful thing. Love is a beautiful thing. So listening to her messages really opened my heart open my heart and probably god is preparing me for the day i will say i i do probably <laughs> probably the day is closed and that is why he's confining me to her messages like i was not someone that used to listen to anything related to relationship and all that stuff but then i have been listening to her the second preacher i used to listen to very well is pastor kingsley Okonkwo. pastor kingsley is the husband of pastor mildred 
if you know Pastor Mildred, you know Pastor Kingsley. Pastor Kingsley is, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I have to laugh because that man is very, very funny. Like, I some days, eh, I will not even lie. I just used to listen to his message just so that I can laugh. But then I'm learning in the process, right? Pastor Kingsley has a way of just teaching you in a very, I don't know how to really explain it. Like, the, he'll bring it down to layman English. Like, you will definitely understand what he's trying to put across. You need to listen to his messages on, like, relationships, marriage, and all that. Like, he will dissect it. He will explain to you the differences between a man and a woman. Like, those people are good. So Kingsley and his wife, they are just, like, amazing, amazing, amazing. They are a blessing to this generation. I will tag them a system in this generation. God has really used them to transform the mindset of a lot of people. So if you're watching this video and probably you have fears about love, relationship, you're scared of opening up and all that, I would advise that you really, really listen to them. Up next is no other person than Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts. Like, I love SJR so much. I love Pastor Sarah, like, oh my god, let me calm down, let me calm down. <laughs> Pastor Sarah is the daughter of Bishop T.D. Jakes. I started listening to Pastor Sarah during the lockdown, yes, 2020. I think I just came across her video on YouTube randomly and I was just like, whoa, like, Pastor Sarah is just amazing. I feel like God really led me to her because around the same time during the lockdown when I started listening to her was when God led me to start up a community, a ministry for women, talking to women about God and all that and all that stuff. Like, I remember that particular day I was listening to her message when the Lord spoke to me clearly and I just wrote everything that he told me. Um, some persons that are actually watching this video know about Girl Power Network. Like during the lockdown, you guys, we, we learned a lot. There were so many testimonies that came from that group chat. It was just a WhatsApp group chat where we come together, we do Bible study, we pray, and God really used it to transform the lives of so many persons. Right now, I am still running the community, but the name has changed. Pastor Sarah also has a ministry for women called Woman Evolve. So I think that was another area. God really wanted me to learn from her, pay attention, you know, learn and all that stuff. And let me just say this listening to preachers listening to messages does not replace studying your bible because they are only giving you like a little bit of so much that you can learn when you study the word of god right now i'm not saying you should not listen to um, preachers and all that i do that but all i'm just trying to say is you should not put all your focus oh like no preacher should replace the word of god in your life so in as much as you are listening to these preachers probably there's something god wants you to learn from them in that season learn strategies learn things that will help your spiritual growth it does not replace god's word so i just felt the need to say that right now up next is no other person than apostle joshua selman you guys i'm sure most persons here know apostle joshua selman he's I don't even know what to say. I, I can't even talk much because sometimes I don't really know the words to really describe how much God has used these persons to really bless my life. Like, I appreciate that um, they said yes to Jesus because, see, eh, you will not really understand what I'm saying until God places something in your hands. And it's a lot. It's a lot to actually keep going. Some days you're tired, you don't want to do this anymore. But when you remember that there are people that are looking up to you, when you remember that this is God's work, when you remember that there are souls out there that God wants to use you to bless, you just keep going. It is not easy. It is not easy. So that is why I honor men of God a lot because <laughs> I know what it is. Like you guys, I know what it is. It is not easy. So um. I started listening to Apostle Joshua Selman in the year um, 2019. Yes, I think 2019. Then my roommate is always listening to his messages. She's like, eh, hey, Apostle Joshua Selman, Apostle Joshua Selman. I say, who be this man? I think one day I was in the room and I was just listening to him random. She was actually playing his message and I was just there. I was like, let me just listen and all that. And the message really blessed my life 
the message blessed my life so much that oh I don't know there's something about Joshua Selman's message does to you it creates a hunger within your soul like you just want to you you just look at your life like I've not started. You get that kind of thing. I've not started. So I used to listen to Apostle Joshua Selman a lot in the year 2019 when I just gave my life to Christ and all that. Me and my roommates would just put it on. We connect. Um, we connect the message to a Bluetooth speaker, and all of us would just be listening and pray together and all that stuff. Right now, I don't really listen to him as much as. I used to then. Right now, I'm listening to relationship things because you guys, we're not gonna be single forever. I am, I am that Christian that like, <laughs> I like to groom every aspect of my life. Like, I don't want to be that Christian where oh, when it comes to spiritual things, encounters, power, fire, I'm there. But when it comes to like knowledge about relationship, I have zero wisdom. Like I don't know what communication is. I don't know anything about marriage. I don't know anything about friendship. I don't know anything about my academics and all that. I am that Christian that wants to carry excellence into every sphere. We are not going to limit ourselves and say, oh, I'm only listening to, oh, Sarah Jake Strobert. I'm not listening to any other person and all that. No, like I'll be stupid to do that because like I said, God can make you to start listening to certain preachers in a particular season. Not just preachers, people. And you're just listening to them. You're learning from them because there's something God wants to teach you in that season. So a wise Christian is one who would be able to discern when their season has changed. And God wants you to move to something else. God wants you to start listening to another kind of thing. Or God wants you to focus your study. Yes, that's the word, study. On another thing, you just notice that in that season, scriptures related to that particular thing will just be coming. Most persons that are watching this video may have listened to Apostle Joshua Selman, and I mean like, great man of God, we celebrate grace. Next up, I will say Pastor Mike Todd. I don't know if you guys listen to Pastor Mike Todd. I love Pastor Mike Todd so much. I love how realistic he is. <laughs> that man does crazy things. <laughs> Permit me to use that word. Like, Pastor Mike Todd can be so practical that he will bring whatever thing he wants to use to describe what he's teaching, he can bring it dear to the altar and all that. I remember I was listening to one of his messages where he was talking about sex and all that. Like, you guys, they brought a bed on stage. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, this is the height of what? This is the height of teaching. Like, he is so practical, he is so real. I think I listened to him first in the year, uh, I listened to him first in the year 2018, yes. My cousin, my cousin Taya used to listen to him then. She was seven here in Port Harcourt, so she was in my house. She was always listening to him. Ah, You guys, the first message I listened to by Pastor Mike Todd is, relationship goals like that message was in fact they had to produce a book from that message it was so good it was a series where um, we talked about relationships singlehood everything and I don't even know like God was actually using it to teach me something at that time which I cannot really talk about right now because it's story for another day but then like I listened to that message in the year 2018 and I just I just started listening to Pastor Mike Todd, like his, his vibes. It just has a way of keeping an image in your head. Like there's, I can never forget there was this message I listened to where he was talking about feeding yourself with the things of God. I think I listened to this message during the lockdown. And in that message, he, he literally brought a, a water can to the stage and then he was pouring it like, he was pouring it whether into a bucket or a cup. Basically he was trying to explain um, how it is when you keep feeding yourself with the things of God, how it removes impurities, it removes nasty thoughts and all of that when you're feeding yourself with the things of God. That message was so timely at that point in my life. Even if I forget what he said, because of how much he makes everything real and practical, like the picture just stays in my head. Even if I can't remember what he said, because of the description, because of how, okay, he brought this person out to demonstrate this and all that, somehow the thing just stays in my head. And then last but not the least, is no other person than my parents, Pastor John and Pastor Shola Larayton. You guys, I know some people will be like, mm, maybe she's just, 
mentioning it because they're her parents and all that. No. My parents really taught me a lot of things. Like sometimes I look back at my life and I'm like, why did I not do this thing? Like, you see all this peer pressure, all those things. You know they reach my sides. Like nobody shall can pressure me because my parents put so much in inside of us since when we were little. They taught us a lot of principles, like a lot of principles that have guided my life. Even before I gave my life to Christ, like in the year 2019, those principles, those teachings, all those little morning devotions, all those little things that they taught us then really helped me to get to this point. Like it created a hunger within me. There were certain things that I could not just find myself doing. There were certain places that I could not just go to. And I'm forever grateful to God for giving me my parents. My parents are pastors and <laughs> really it's not easy being a pastor's child because a lot of people have this mindset that oh pastor's children are bad and all that. On another day I'll, I'll, I think I'll film a video about that like what it is being a pastor's child. A lot of people do not really understand all that. Let me not just let me not digress. So like I said my parents really helped me a lot my parents really helped to groom me they taught me the basics they taught me the foundations like they taught me so many things I remember that when I got to secondary school and I was hearing a lot of things people were doing and all that it just seemed very weird to me like <laughs> when you remember the shouts <laughs> remember the home you're coming from when you remember all those words my dear there are some things that you cannot just do so i am not going to like just say oh because i gave my life to christ in the year 2019 no, no, no. even right now like when i go to church on sunday a lot of you know i'm very involved in my dad's church like i'm very involved i sing in the choir and all that and some days i used to feel like i would actually get used to it like his messages would be like a routine oh for crying out loud i've been hearing these messages since i was young and all that but for where i enjoy listening to him preach i enjoy listening to my mom you guys i brought my mom on my channel once i'll put the link here also I brought my mom and you guys could tell like that woman is loaded when it comes to relationships um singlehood marriage my mom is there for you she has a foundation where she grooms single people prepares them for marriage and all that stuff and i have learned a lot from her but like i said listening to my mom listening to my parents have really groomed my spiritual growth i'm so grateful to god for leading me to listen to all these people because god has really used them to teach me a lot of things like a whole lot of things god has really used them preparing me for leadership preparing me for the future there are a lot of things that i am doing right now and i never thought that i would be in this space doing something like this god prepared me ahead of the journey and i am so grateful to god now like i said i'm not saying that oh if you don't listen to these preachers your spiritual life is dead or something no that's not what i said i'm just explaining like from a personal angle the preachers i listened to that really helped to shape my christian life thank you very much for watching this video if you have not subscribed please do well to subscribe what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section any pastor that you have listened to that really helps to shape your own journey even if it's not a pastor anybody basically thank you guys for watching this video bye